Hi, this video may be helpful for anybody who's newly tasked with working with machine control systems on site or anybody that's been thinking of um, getting some new survey software or is in the market for a software that's going to assist you in the world of machine control, file conversions, um, surface modeling, etc. I've been using Enforce for many years. Um, it's, it's really simple and very intuitive. It's a software that's run by a company called Applications in CAD. I would drop that um, Applications in CAD into YouTube and you'll see lots of fun tutorials there. Um, but dealing with them is, is fantastic. Um, this is in no way a video or a tutorial on how to model um, or create surfaces, complex surfaces, but it will hopefully demonstrate the simplicity and the power of Enforce. Now, if you're newly tasked with it and you're trying to get ahead round what's a 3D drawing, what's a model, what's ready for machine control, Enforce makes it really simple. If I take this DXF that I have here as an example, all I need to do is click on the models folder on Enforce, drag and drop a file into there, and if nothing appears like this, then the file isn't ready for machine control. It's missing the triangulation. Enforce would have would have read that. So this file is in fact just a CAD file that needs some work to it. So I'm going to drag and drop it into my CAD folder. In here, the first thing that I want to look for is, is there 3D data? 3D data meaning something I can start to model with. And there is. There's something here. It's got a Y for yes in 3D and something here, Y. For th yes, it has 3D. So let's have a look at what that is. So this is building line. So this is a layer that someone's created. Okay, it doesn't look like a building to me. It um, looks more like a road and remaining detail. Let's see what that is. So this looks like building lines, plots. So Enforce is great. I can just right click, hit rename, and I'm just going to rename this plots. And then what we have is building line. I'm going to rename that as road. Everything else that has zero just means there's, there's no data in, in there at all. So I can right click, hit select empty, and then delete. Now if I open this up, the data there is all that's showing here. If I wanted to, I could right click in CAD file, hit new, give it a name, have one called roads, one called plots, and just copy and paste these layers into my new CAD file and have separate models or separate drawings. But in this instance, I'm just going to keep it all in one. So the first thing to do when you want to start creating a model and getting it ready for machine control is creating a back cloth in Enforce. And I do that by right clicking my CAD file and putting back cloth create. So here I'm going to put surface for machine control, hit OK, and you'll see that it now creates me a, a model space to work in. And there's no data here. When I start creating data, we'll have points in here. So if I double click on my blank surface, it will open up a similar page to what I just looked at, but in here I can start getting to work. And it's really simple. So the first thing we need to do is generate points. So for the triangulation, it needs to have points along these lines, and it basically interpolates a level between a series of points. Now, a simple way of doing this is by going to points up the top, clicking on it, generate points along lines. Now, before I do that, just to show you, if I go home and then into this 3D, this will show me a blank page because the drawing currently isn't a 3D model. All it is is lines that have position and height on them. There's nothing in these blank spaces. So again, I'm going to go to points, generate along lines. And all I'm going to do here is put in a spot level code just to keep myself right. But it's asking me at change age interval, how often do you want a point? So I'm going to ask for, give me a, a 3D point every two meters along these lines. And I'm simply going to click once with my left button on my mouse, drag a box across, click again, and you'll see that it's now generated me points all along these lines. And you'll see I've got the heights 
in there as well. I can turn the text off should I wish to. Um, and then the next stop, next step is just as easy. I'm going to go DTM create normal. And now I'm just going to turn the heights off. See that heights off, heights on, um, super friendly. But now I have a model that can go into machine control. And it just needs a bit of cleaning up if you want, if you want to get rid of this space, if you've got any cleaning you want to do at all, super easy as well. You just go to delete, um, single strike, there's many different ways, and I could just click once, drag that in, and delete. If I want, I can click here once, drag in, and delete. Click here once, drag in, and delete, and so on. It just really depends on where you need data and where you don't. So if I go back to home and then click on 3D, you'll see now that this site is now modeled. I can hit this view, the vertical scale, just exaggerate it a little bit. I can go display mode, put some color on it, and then I can show my height shader. So you'll see I've got a key here, my red 12 meters above sea level, blue is down at 8, so I know the site's falling down that way. But this file here can now go into a machine, because this is all leveled now. And to get it exported for machine control, all I need to go to is AutoCAD, Leica MC1, that file will go straight into Leica's MC1 system, or that I can go to Other, and go to Topcon 3D MC, and it will create a Topcon job file. So once I do that, I can go to the panel, USB in, or use one of the online data sharing services, and when the machine goes into operation, the site's now ready to work. If it was Topcon machine control, I would go file project and actually import that um, in here, rather than, um, sorry, I would go copy from USB and it would read the job file. Then I would need to go to file, um, active surface and choose whatever surface that I want to, to read. With Leica's MC1 panel, you can go into projects. Let me open this up quickly. You've got two options with Leica, really. With Topcon, you don't need to have any particular file tree on a USB. With Leica, you have option. You can go into projects. Um, they've got like the normal plus sign down the bottom, create a new project. And then when you have the project created, go into models, hit the plus sign from USB, and it will read that file that you've just created on Enforce. Alternatively, you can create a folder called projects and then in the projects folder, create your job folder. So like road and plots formation, for example, and then in the pro in your job folder, you can drop your model, any localizations you've got, put your USB in, hit the sync button, sync from USB, and then your job will just appear in your projects folder in here with your models ready to, to select. So really brilliant software, that, that's as simple as it can be if, if you're already sort of confident with your data. And back at the sort of home screen, you'll see this model space now has all these levels in it. So I can go and look and make sure the levels are, are looking correct. If there was anything that I thought was weird with the model space, I can come in here and inspect and, and start to get a feel for, for the levels on the site. So. Just a really quick demonstration of, of the power of Enforce. It's, it's a super sweet software. Applications in CAD is really changing the way that you can quickly get data ready for certainly Topcon and like machine control. If you wanted it to go into Trimble, you could export the XML now and um, basically use Trimble's free um, file flipper, take it straight from, straight from Enforce, um, drop it into into this free um, file flipper from Trimble 
and your sort of all singing, all dancing, machine controlled guru. Um, okay, so thanks for watching. If anybody has, 